Hello everyone! Have you ever tried building a hardware circuit only to find that you are buried in a mess of wires? It's easy to make mistakes when you are dealing with a lot of connections. And then this happens, a short circuit. And now that you hope that your hardware isn't permanently damaged. But what if there was a way to avoid all of this? What if you could design, ideate and simulate your circuits virtually without even touching the real hardware? So guys, that is where Avishkar MakerBoard Simulator comes into picture. With Avishkar MakerBoard Simulator, you can create circuits with just a few clicks. No wires, no risk of short circuit and no frustration. You can even program the built-in LED matrix without any complicated setup. Let me walk you through the sign-in process so that you can see for yourself how easy it is to run a circuit on the Avishkar MakerBoard Simulator. All right, guys. So you have to open your web browser and you have to write www.avishkar.cc and hit enter. So once you hit enter, you'll see this beautiful website opened and you'll see this sign in button. So let's click on it. So once you click on this sign in button, it will ask you to authenticate with itself. So now there are a couple of ways with which you can authenticate. You can either sign in with Google or Facebook but I find it very easy to sign in with your phone number. So let me just quickly enter my phone number. And once you have entered your phone number, you can either enter your password or you can simply log in with OTP. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna request an OTP. And let me just quickly check my phone. So yeah, I have got an OTP. So let me just quickly put it here. All right, next, click on verify. Okay, so now you have successfully logged into the website and you'll see this very interesting option that is AMS, which is on the top right corner. So let me click on it. Once you click on this option, you'll see a lot of options and you have to go to simulators option. Let me click on this. And now let's click on this MakerBoard 2.0. So now our MakerBoard simulator has opened and look, it's such a beautiful interface, guys. So now, uh, the sign-in process is quite easy and let's just create a very simple LED circuit to see how beautifully it works in the MakerBoard simulator. For that, let me just, you know, drag this MakerBoard simulator a little bit to the right hand side and to get an LED, let me just click on this plus button. So now after that, let's click on this LED and voila, here we have LED on our simulator window. Now, if you know a little bit about electronics, you must know that if you want to connect an LED, you need a resistor. So let me just click on this plus button again and let me get a 220 ohm resistor. All right, so here we have the resistor as well. So now let's make the connections and to do that, let's click, let's connect the positive leg or the longer leg of LED with one of the terminals of resistor and the other terminal of resistor will go to this power, which is VCC. Next, let's click the shorter leg or the negative leg of the LED with GND, that is ground. It's also a very good practice to color code your wires in order to understand which is the power wire and which is the ground wire. So generally the ground wire is always black in color. So for that you have to click on this wire, go to this wire color and select the black color. And this power wire will be of red color. So let me just do that. And now as soon as I click on this play button, you'll see that the LED will lighten up. Isn't it amazing? So you don't have to actually, you know, do the physical connections. By this, you can actually test your circuits and after that, you can actually perform and perform on your physical hardware without being afraid that your hardware will be damaged. So that was a very simple circuit. But what if I want to do something which is much more exciting? Let me just blink this LED. I don't want to glow this LED. Let me just blink it. For that, let me just delete, uh, let me just stop this simulation. Okay, let me just delete this wire. And instead of connecting this wire directly to the power source, let me connect it to a digital pin, that is P0. So by using this digital pin, I can actually provide high and low signals, which will help my LED to turn on and turn off respectively. Let me just make this as red colored. And now it's time for some coding. So guys, you'll see that the programming interface is such beautiful. It's, it's such a beautiful interface and you can do programming very easily. All you have to do is just click on this control block and drag the my program block outside. So click on this control block. You'll see this my program block. Let's drag this outside. So this is basically the main function of your program. Next, 
you have to go to this hardware window and click on it. So you'll see a couple of interesting blocks. One is this configure pin direction and the other one is output pin value. So using this block, you can actually set the state of a pin, whether you want to use a specific digital pin or an analog pin in input mode or output mode. So I want to use this in output mode only. Next, I want to get a loop because this part of code, I want it to be repeated continuously. Next, let me just go to this hardware block and get this output pin block. So basically this block is used to set the state of a pin. And right now I want to set the state of my pin as high. So by setting the state high, my LED will turn on. And let me just go to this control block again to get a delay. And after a delay of 1000 millisecond or one second, I want to make it low. So for that, you can actually duplicate this, right click on this block, you can duplicate this. And this time I'll set the state as low. And again, I'll just put a delay of one second. So basically we have created a very fundamental program in which we are configuring the state of P0 as output. Then we'll provide a high signal to it, which will turn on the LED. And after a wait of one second, we'll turn off the LED. And this is this program is being looped continuously. So you'll see LED blinking at an interval of one second. Now let's click, let's hit the play button. And here it is guys. So isn't it really beautiful? The LED is blinking at an interval of one second. And there is one interesting thing that you can note. You can actually see a very uh, indication which block is being executed. So this is how detailed Avishkar Maker Board Simulator is. I hope that you guys learn something new. All right guys, so this was a very simple LED circuit. But let's take one more example in order to see the actual power of this Avishkar Maker Board Simulator. We know that air pollution is a very prominent challenge these days. So let's make an air pollution circuit in which we'll get an air pollution sensor in the simulator window. And at the same time, we'll see that if the level of carbon dioxide rises to a certain level, the LED will glow, else the LED will remain off. Isn't that interesting? So to do that, let's just click on this plus button and get the air quality sensor. So now we can see that the simulator window is a bit cluttered. Let's just make some adjustment. Let me just zoom out this a little bit and try to place these components perfectly. All right, great. So now that we can see that this air pollution sensor has four pins, AO, which stands for analog output, DO, which stands for digital output, GND, which stands for ground, and VCC, which stands for power. So we know that this VCC pin will go to VCC on maker board. This GND pin will go to GND on maker board. And this digital output pin will go to a digital pin on the maker board and let's connect it to P1. So through this wire, we'll actually get the actual information from the sensor, or we can say that the amount of carbon dioxide in the environment will be sent, uh, will be sensed by the sensor, and that information will come to this P1 pin. So now that we know this, we need to read the status of this pin, and depending upon that information, we need to toggle the LED. So for that, let's just go to this control block. So let me just, okay, so take out the if block and the comparison operator block. Let's just put this block in a loop and let's take out a block which will help us to read the status of P1 pin. So let's go to hardware. Okay, so we need two blocks. First, let's configure, configure the direction of P1 pin to input because at this point, this P1 pin will actually get information from the sensor. So it's acting like an input pin. And let's go to hardware again. Take out this read status of P1. Let me make it P1 here. And if the status of this pin is equal to one, which means the level of carbon dioxide in the air is specifically high. In that case, let me just turn on the LED. Let me make P0 as high. I don't need these time blocks. Else, if the level of carbon dioxide is not that sufficiently high, let me make this pin as low. Let's just try to run this code. So we can see that right now, the LED is in off state. And as soon as I click on this sensor and try to increase the level of carbon dioxide in there, you can see that the LED turns on. Let me just decrease the level of carbon dioxide. It's off. Let me just increase it. It's on. Isn't that amazing? And that's just the beginning. Look at some of the other projects that are being created by students and teachers. 
from burglar alarm system to an air pollution system the possibilities are endless what's great is that after verifying the circuit and code in the simulator you can actually transfer those into the real hardware and see your projects become a reality now what are the benefits for students and teachers for students the simulator offers a frustration free learning experience where you can test your ideas perform them virtually and then you can move on to the real hardware for teachers the avishkar maker board simulator has a lot of benefits benefit number 1 it makes classroom management very easy there are no broken parts plus you can focus on teaching while students perform these experiments in a very safe and virtual environment benefit number 2 it also serves as an excellent learning aid when you are teaching electrical circuit study students which are deeply integrated in class 6th to 9th science syllabus compared to other controllers the avishkar maker board simulator has built in features like an onboard led matrix bluetooth thus simplifying the setup a lot there is no need for extra components and complicated wiring so click on the link below to start your journey with avishkar and see how easy your learning can be so with that said wish you guys all the very best have a great day ahead bye